You've probably heard about ManyChat. Maybe you're even using it. And I'm here to tell you that if you use high level, you do not need ManyChat at all. All the same functionality exists inside high level so that you can reply in the DMs when someone comments on your post and send them an automated list of questions, forward them through your lead magnet, maybe even push them through to a sale. Let's have a look at how it works. All right, so this is the first thing I want to show you. So this is how I have it set up at the moment. Now this is a bit complex. We're not gonna rebuild all of this. Uh, we might rebuild some of it, but we've got here responding on a comment, interactive messages, uh, a couple of different pathways. Uh, so it, it looks confusing. It is and it isn't. It'll make sense very shortly. Uh, yeah, let's jump into building this from scratch. So I've set up here ManyChat V2. So we're going to start from zero here. And the way I like to operate is we'll go through the ideal pipeline, and then we can look at splitting it out into some different things there uh, in case it doesn't work as planned. So we want a trigger, and that trigger is going to be Instagram comments on a post. So page, we have to select the page that we're using. Post type is a published post. Post is, now this would let you select a specific post. I wouldn't really recommend doing that uh, because it can just make things complicated. It becomes very difficult if you're doing a specific post every time. You'd have to redo this for every single post or create a new trigger. So we don't want that. Uh, we'll do it with all published posts. But we're going to add a filter because we don't want this triggering no matter what anytime someone comments. We want a specific word. We're telling them comment test, comment automate, comment many chat, whatever it might be to help deliver your lead magnet through to them. Exact match is the best way to go. We can do contains phrase, uh, but if we choose a word like many chat as an example, and I post this and someone says, I love many chat, it's awesome, I don't want your thing. It would still do that because they've said the word many chat. So that's my trigger word. Uh, it triggers me. So instead, I'm going to do exact match. And the word we're looking at is many chat. It's the word of the day. So we don't have to worry about it being capitalized lowercase here. That will pick it up. And we're going to track first level comments only. So not replies to someone else's comment, just someone comments on the post. All right, let's save that trigger. And now that that's set up, what do we want to do? Well, we want to reply. First, we're going to wait. Uh, Instagram doesn't really like it. If you reply immediately, it looks like bot action. So we're going to wait 30 seconds. Uh, now, it doesn't let us pick seconds in here. We've got minutes, hours, and days. But if we want to do 30 seconds or something like that, we just have to do a decimal there. So half a minute. 30 seconds. If we want to make it even shorter, if we want to do five seconds, well, we can do six. Five, I couldn't be bothered figuring out the math. All right, we're waiting five seconds and we're going to reply. Now we could just send them a DM directly with the link. If we want to qualify them a bit and make them take that extra step, this can filter out bots as well. Uh, we're going to use interactive messenger. Instagram interactive messenger. So what this does, this replies to them and then gives them a couple of buttons to press. Uh, so we've got a couple of different responses. So, oh, actually before this, you know what, we'll send them on the reply now. Uh, hi, contact first name. So, yeah interested in replacing many chat with go high level because uh, that's what we're talking about here and we've got some buttons all right so button name one yes i'm interested and the action for that is going to be performs action we can send them to a website but for our purposes now, we're going to keep this all in the DMs. Um, we're going to perform an action, and we'll get to that in a second. We're going to add a new button. No, I'm not. They're very not interested. We're going to perform an action there as well. Now, wait step. This is the timeout. So how long before it goes to a default step? So we're going to give them five minutes to respond. 
they don't respond within five minutes, we're going to send them a different message. All right, so that's set up. So now when they come in on the post, they're going to get this message straight away. But there is a step we want to do first that I skipped over, which is we want to like their comment and we want to tell them that we're sending them a DM. So reply in comments. Now with this, we're going to like it. So we're going to turn this on. Uh, it says Instagram is not supported, but I feel like it is. Uh, either way, we'll turn it on. Can't hurt. So this is where we get sent you a DM. Whatever you want to put in here, it randomizes it. So you can, I don't think there's an upward limit. Maybe there is. How many can we create? At least this many. So you can really randomize it there. Can we get rid of some of those? And we can add custom values in here as well. So check your DMs. Contact first name. I'm not sure what else you might want to put in there as a custom value. We also wouldn't have a lot of these details yet. Whatever we like in here can send that through. Hey, just interrupting myself quickly. I want to say if you're enjoying this and getting value from it, please like, share, subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. Also, if you're interested in high level, I have an affiliate link to that down in the comments below, as well as a couple of other cool things. Check them out. All right, so that's saved. Now, up next, we want to know what happens when they press the buttons. So yes, I'm interested. Well, then we want to send them another message. We can do another interactive messenger, but if they're interested, we don't really need to. So we're just going to find Instagram DM. So this is separate from the Instagram interactive messenger. It doesn't have the buttons. That's the main difference there. Now, again, we can put custom values in here and we can put in a trigger link as well. Uh, but we're just gonna do a standard link. Maybe I'll put in a trigger link when I set this up for real. But yeah, that's the standard link. We'll save that. So that's good. This is our straight line. They comment, we send them a, or we respond on their comment, send them a DM. And then they say, yes, I'm interested. Cool, we've sent them that. No, they're not interested, or default timeout. Let's work with that a bit. So after five minutes, if they haven't pressed one of these buttons, we're gonna prompt them again. We're gonna do another one, interactive messenger, contact first name, and then the buttons again. Yes, perform action, no. Form action, and this time we're gonna give them even longer. Let's give them half an hour to respond. Quite a bit of time there. So if it times out, it goes there. And then we're gonna do a, uh, a yes on this. Now, if it's yes, we don't really need to write a whole brand new message here. It's the same message here. So instead of doing that again, this is where we're going to go to, and this is where it looks a bit like a spider web. So we're going to go to here. Now, if we that say no, so we can do it on either place. Uh, we can say a DM here. What I like to do is re-engage. So I'm gonna put one over here on the default timeout. Instagram DM. All right, so this is what I'm putting in here. Okay, all good. If you change your mind, just DM me many chat and I'll send you through the link. So this would actually, well, not yet, but we'll get that to trigger this whole workflow again based off a DM, because right now it's based off a comment. So we've got this set up, we've got a yes path, we've got a no response path, we've got a no, no response path. We don't have anything for when they say no. Now this is kind of multi-use, because there's no reason that we can't send this if they say no. Still okay, all good. If you change your mind, let me know. So we're gonna use that go to function again. And we're going to send it over here. Same over here. So whenever they say no or they time out, they just go to this message saying, all good, uh, shoot me a message again with the trigger word and we'll get you started. So this is really all we need as far as the Instagram comment on a post. Uh, you can play around with it. You can add a bit more. There's some cool functions we can put in there. What I might do now Seeing as we've told them to DM us, if they were to DM us now, nothing had happened. Uh, we can contact them, we can reach out manually, but let's automate it. Why not? It's here. All we have to do is add a new trigger and the same functionality will work. 
So, trigger. Now this one's hidden. It's in there, but if you were to type in Instagram, that's all we've got is the comments. What we want to look for is contact reply. Customer replied, not contact reply. So customer replied, and then we need to add the filters on here to make sure it's exactly what we want. So exact match phrase, so many chat again. Now, reply channel. This is the important one. Instagram DMs. So now if they DM us the word many chat, it will run this exact same thing. Now, the only minor issue here is the respond on comment. There's no comment to respond on if they send us a DM. It will still just fly straight through it. It's not a real problem, but we like to handle for errors. So if, got an if condition here. So if the workflow trigger is comments on a post, We'll call this one comment, say comment or DM, and we'll call this one DM. If it's from a comment, it'll go here and it'll respond to the comment. And here we want the same workflow, we just want to skip that one step. So we're going to go to and we're going to go here. So we're bypassing it. So you can see as we build, it starts to look more complicated, but it is actually pretty straightforward. So now it's set up that if they get to the end, if they say no, whenever they want to come back, if they say yes, uh, it will send through those details. So it'll put them through this path again. Uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. There's more you can do with it, like capturing their email address, but I think this is probably a good place to stop, and I'll come up with a more advanced tutorial on this later on. All right, that is it. Hope that it all makes sense. I will be putting together something a bit more advanced going forward. Uh, so sort of follow on from this that takes us through some of the next steps when we want to enhance this a bit further. But for now, this should be everything you need. And a cool thing about it as well is once you've built it once, you can just duplicate that workflow and you can change the words inside of it. Change the trigger word, change the responses, but the framework is still there and really easy to use. Okay, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.